Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Our Journal Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily paint a waterfall with acrylic paint for beginners as a few of you guys requested it. In the beginning, I will be using a few different colors, white, blue, green, and a little bit of black colored paint. And I will also be using a flat tip brush. Let's start with the water first. I will be mixing a little bit of blue, green and white colored paint together to create a base color. And from here we can add a little bit more white or a little bit of blue or green depending on what we need. The basic thing we want to do now is to create a base by applying the paint from top to the middle part of the painting while changing up all the different shades of water. The great thing about acrylic paint is that it creates a nice texture when you load up your brush with paint and move it downwards. If you applied a darker shade first and then went back with lighter color, you can create a really nice effect. The lighter color will mix into the darker color and it just creates a really nice effect and it really looks like water. The important thing is to not use too much water. I usually barely use water when I paint with acrylic paint. I really love the texture the paint creates when I work with an almost dry brush. And if you paint on some textured paper like I do here and you notice that you can't really apply the paint properly, it's okay to dip it into the water a little bit. But in this case, I kind of like the effect it creates when you use an almost dry brush. It kind of looks like falling water already. Now we can add a little bit more depth into the painting by adding another layer of paint slightly below the top area. This is the area where the water falls a little bit closer to us. We can divide this part by applying some white paint the same way as in the beginning. I hope the video will help you to understand what I'm actually doing because explaining every step is really difficult and too confusing probably for you guys so I hope the video can tell what to do. Also, water doesn't always fall straight down. There are sometimes rocks or something else where the water bounces off. And to replicate that, you can move your brush slightly to the sides when you move it downwards. Now on the bottom, it's going to be a little darker because we will add some plants later. So here I mix a little bit of black, blue and green colored paint together and then went back to painting the water. Again, load up your brush with white acrylic paint and then move the brush in a slightly curved motion. We want to make it look like the water falls over a layer of rocks or earth so it doesn't just fall down straight under the ground. I would recommend to use a flat brush because it's so versatile and you guys see me using it all the time because it's just great. And especially great for painting things like waterfalls. You can create a nice clean edge where the water starts, move the brush lightly to the side and then move it downwards. And while you apply brighter paint over the darker paint, you can create a really nice fluffy and watery effect. Some lines will be darker, some a lot lighter and it will just make look everything more realistic and fun. There are tons of ways how you can paint a waterfall it always depends on the person, on what style he or she is going for, so just have fun. I really love painting with acrylic paint, especially something super relaxing because it's so satisfying and relaxing to see the paint smoothly moving over the paper or the canvas. This is why I would recommend getting yourself a set of heavy acrylic paint that covers nicely. Usually when you get super cheap acrylic paints, they are way too translucent and watery and it's just not fun to work with them. By the way, as always, I have my supplies linked in the description box. You don't have to get these, I would just recommend to invest in some good art supplies because I feel like if you are new to a certain medium and don't know how to use it just yet, it can be really frustrating if the paint doesn't want to cooperate. And a lot of people give up just because of that and think they are just untalented, even though your art supplies choice wasn't the best. 
I think that to be able to use cheap art supplies and to create amazing art pieces with them needs skill and to develop an understanding of how to use the art supply, I think you should try to get something that is not super expensive but also not super cheap so you can learn while not being frustrated and giving up at some point. But let's get back to the painting. Now for the rest of the painting we can now add some trees and leaves in a super easy way. All we need are some different shades of green and our brush. So load up your brush with a little bit of green, yellow and a little bit of black colored paint and start dabbing on the paint. We are not trying to make each leaf look super perfect and realistic. You just want to make people aware that there are some trees around it. Again, add some lighter shades to make areas where the light hits it slightly lighter and to create more depth and to create a contrast to the bright areas, don't be afraid to use darker tones such as black. Just not too much. And when you created the overall pieces of the painting, you can go back and add a little bit more white paint to the water to make the higher parts of it lighter and if you want, you can add even more highlights to the rest of the painting. Just have fun and don't stress too much. Usually when we start thinking too much and trying too hard, we just ruin everything. So just have fun! If you've been following the Art Journal Thursday episodes, you notice that I try to play around with different styles and techniques and just ways to create art to find out what I enjoy the most. And I figured that sometimes we have this feeling that art needs to look a certain way to be considered good or beautiful and people can be so judgmental especially when it comes to abstract art. So for some people it looks super easy, they think the artist just splashed some paint onto the canvas and now wants to charge a ton of money. But it's actually pretty difficult to come up with a concept, to pick the right colors and you have to find out how to portray and paint something that is not so obvious but still expresses a lot of things. Art doesn't have to express something in an obvious way. Sometimes an abstract painting can express so much more than a realistic painting. Even emotions. Sometimes we feel a certain way but it's just too difficult to convey it in a super obvious way because emotions are so abstract after all. But what I wanted to say with this is that as long as you are happy painting it and as long as you are happy with the art piece then you are successful and you can be proud of it. Art is so subjective and we should rather focus on expressing ourselves in our way that is true to ourselves instead of trying to create something that we think people might like. Art is super personal after all and you don't want to mass produce something that isn't actually a piece of you. And that's the final result. I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you need more inspiration for other paintings, you can check out my playlist full of other ideas right here. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video on Thursdays and on Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye! Hey guys!